Hello everyone. I've got a uh, got a 10 minute on the board and we have the Vienna. I'm just a bit slow starting to record here. And opponent has played the three knights. Okay, so now we've transposed. This is no longer the Vienna game. Because we've got three knights out. Um, I'm not too familiar with this. So I'm going to just develop as normal. Get ready to castle. It's pretty secure. Um, that is actually playable. Pawn takes, knight takes. This knight's actually undefended though. So should we just play d6? Maybe pin this guy, maybe castle. All normal stuff. Okay, maybe not, not much point pinning now. Um, I think the other knight should probably come out. This looks like a, a nice square. He's pinned me. I'm gonna put the question to this bishop. If takes, I've got queen takes, that's just free development. Okay, and now this pretty much quarantines the bishop in that corner of the board. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna get developed. I'm gonna probably castle long now because I've moved Gary and Harry. Ooh, hello. I'm not sure about this idea. Okay, now rook g8 is a skewer because there's an undefended pawn behind the bishop. So this doesn't really work because I, I simply take. If he takes back, then rook takes there. So is it going to be h4? So if I do this and h4, who's better? I'm not sure I am. Therefore, I propose not to do it. I'm going to use my time maybe more wisely. We'll see. Can we find something like bishop e6? I'm not too worried about the knight. It is pinned. It's slightly annoying. Um, <clears throat> but also, I can't really put my queen... I can't really get my queen up. I, the queen here would be all right, but then I'm, I am worried about this move. So we need to uh, think about that. So let's, let's, we'll get the bishop out. Can't move the queen right now because, again, the queen is not only the target of the pin, but is also um, the only defender of the knight. So I'll be a bit careful. So probably queen here, then castles. Hmm. So he has sacked a whole piece, hasn't he? I mean, you know, the idea of rook takes bishop, maybe pawn takes. If I can get a bishop and a pawn for a rook. I'm only plus one, though, because I've lost two pawns already. Or do I bring my knight around? Something like I mean, that's kind of convoluted, but does the job. Got to be pragmatic, haven't you, in chess? Okay. Now, I'm just going to throw this move in, because I think he's wasted a turn with h3. I think h4 is a much better move. He might be having ideas of this, but again, if bishop takes there, I can take with pawn. I'm not too bothered. Okay, that's that's decent. So he's right defending the bishop with development, which is a good idea. But here, I attack the knight. The queen is not the only defender of the knight. She is the only defender of the bishop, right? But if I come here and attack this knight, if I take this knight with my bishop... Because what white wants to do is castle. Yeah. If I take this knight, he's got to take back with the pawn. Otherwise, the bishop falls here. That's the problem. Okay, this I'm not concerned about. Let's do this. Because if he knee jerks and recaptures with the queen, which is a much prettier looking move. Okay, so there we go. He's had to take with the pawn. Now he does have this kind of extra pawn towards the center, which I've given him, gifted him. Um... I take here it's going to be pawn takes again so I, I'm okay with this again he's capturing towards the center however the downside of all of this is king safety but rook g6 can I deflect the queen away she can't get there she's got these three squares here I don't think I can I think it's gonna to have to be queen e7 castles Okay, defends. Queen e6 as well as a move. Targets this undefended bishop and also breaks the pin. 
So finally, I've got to a square where I'm still defending the knight, which is kind of important. Uh, but that, let's say it doesn't drop the bishop because the queen still defends. He's got two attackers on here now, but I can block with this. However, then if he drops down here, I have to come back down. So we could find ourselves in perpetual territory there. But what's the alternative? That was a, that was a decent move there from White. Opponent's playing quickly. Longest move is 38 seconds. Everything else has been lightning quick. So if Rook comes down here, again, I have to kind of come down. So he's exploiting the pin. So what he's done is, while my queen escaped the pin from the bishop, he's repinned the same piece now with his Rook, which is kind of clever. Taking the bishop still is not a tragedy. But then he's going to have queen comes down, and then actually I'm, going, I'm still going to have two attackers on the knight, which is unpleasant. So let's see the origin of this. Okay, bishop's taken. Interesting. Okay, now if I take that and queen takes, I then can't take the bishop. So I have to take the bishop first, either with queen or with rook. And I think queen is the way to go because it prevents rook h8 with a skewer winning the rook. Yeah, because I can't block now. So it's got to be queen here. If I take with the rook, he's got rook h8. So I'm going to do this this way. And now, I'm ha now he's got to do something about his rook because it's attacked twice and defended once. I think he missed the trick there. That doesn't work. And now actually I'm the one with the king skewer threat. Very, very common motif. Okay, there we go. Very interesting that game, short game, but I think instructive. Let's go over it in the report. I am uploading another video, so it's a little bit slow. Anyway, we've got the, um, yeah, so that was just simply a blunder. Here, it's saying black is actually still better because I've, I've just won the bishop, haven't I? I think this was just, no, I haven't. Hang on. So when did I go a piece up? Right at the start, wasn't it? Yeah, so here, this is the story of the pin, you see. Now, maybe... No, I did. I did, I did double kick. Oh, that's right. So he sacked the knight in order to reinstate the pin, which is not clever, according to the machine. Takes the pawn, so I'm looking. At, I'm just looking at the eval here. Um, this that was all right, but Bishop B4, I think it was saying was was better. Going with a pin of my own or Rook G8, the immediate Rook G8, putting pressure on this Bishop. And I did consider that move, but I did this instead, which was poor. So I should have played, should have gone with my instinct there. I don't approve of this terribly much. Yeah, the computer agrees. Now it's saying knight d4 is a good move. So that would have been a nice position for the knight. Threatening this bishop. Queen e7, best move. And now still knight d4. Still knight d4 bringing the knight into the center. Uh, queen e7 is next best move. I, I did the pin there. He does this, um, and again, knight, still knight d4. It's saying, come on, please, please improve that knight. It's got a free pass straight to the center of the board. Use it. Uh, I took, which is maybe an accurate bit. So now, what's the best move? Queen e7 again, 
we tradey now queen e7 and now queen e7 is wrong really interesting because of rook h6 okay so here king d7 wow getting just connecting the rooks at all costs right because i never castled did i that's the thing never kept never finished development never connected my rooks and this is bad because of rook h6 and uh the opponent doesn't find that plays rook h5 And now this, this is okay. Still, again, he should put his rook here, which is what he finds. And that's a good move. That's really, really good. Um, now, I have to play rook g6. Anything else is equalizing. I play rook g6. And now, yeah, you can see the computer is saying rook h8, followed by knight g8. Ah, I missed that one. Finally, I could have got my knight out of... The sights of that thing so yeah knight g8 should have been the move and then i'm free to castle interesting stuff and my rook on d8 then is defended by king and this knight as well yeah fascinating stuff well there you go there's a quickie for you guys hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching and thank you everyone for, for your support as well because we've hit nine and a half thousand subscribers ten thousand the big 10k here we come um Best kept secret on YouTube still, but that's the way we like it. All right, see you later.